Well, it is a stadium that absolutely oozes history. Here we are at the San Siro in Milan. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And we've got so much to look forward to. This is where it all begins in Europe's Premier Club competition, the UEFA Champions League, the group stage, match day one action. It's Inter facing Porto. Well, the first game of the group is so vital, you just can't get off to a losing start. This could be a tight battle today, Derek. Inter's lineup is as follows. Milan Skriniar plays alongside Alessandro Bastoni in central defence. Nicolo Barella plays with Henrik Mkhitaryan in the centre of midfield. And in attack, Edin Dzeko starts alongside Lautaro Martinez. And a look at the starting lineup for Porto. Well, the 4 4 2 system relies on good combinations all over the pitch. The front two, the central midfield pairing, the full back and winger, and of course the centre backs. If you can get these combinations right, you'll have a good team. It's the opening match day, Champions League group stage, match day one underway. Matteo Damian went in strongly to win the ball. And space here on the flank. Chalanolu. Now with Miki Tarian. Matteo Damian. Will he play it in? Well, sadly, a bit of a tame effort, that one, and far too close to the goalkeeper. Evan Nilsson. And he did well to cut it out. Danmian. So a throw-in for Inter here. Well, they no longer have the ball. Chance to run at them. And the referee doesn't hesitate. That is a spot kick. Can he make it 1-0? And not cleared away properly. Well, it was caught nicely enough, but the fact of the matter is it wasn't on target. Pressed hard. They've got it now. What can they do? Di Marco. Mkhitaryan. Can they forge ahead? They do. And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead.
Well, it's great awareness of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal. Timing was perfect, ball one. Alessandro Bastoni. Well, attacking possibilities for the Nerazzurri. Martinez. On to Varela. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Parini. Jekko. Mkhitaryan. Mkhitaryan with the effort. Well, the goalkeeper's life wasn't made quite as difficult as might have been the case. Eva Nilsson. Ground to make up, and perhaps this corner can assist them. Can someone get on the end of this? And the referee's verdict is penalty kick. And this for 1-1. One, one. And confidently converted. Here it is again, and he makes it look so easy. He sends the people one way before striking it into the opposite side. That's an excellent finish. Back underway, level pegging, one goal apiece in this game. Hendrik Mikitarian. And very deftly cut out. Can he find the right pass? Griniar, Matteo Damian, Jacko. The ball with Martinez. Well, not the greatest pass. Easily intercepted. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. Mehdi Karami. Precise ball movement. And there we have it. The first half comes to an end here at the San Siro. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, he's certainly got his team back into this game with that goal. Because up to that point, they hadn't played particularly well. I think he's had a decent first half, but he'll be looking to build on his goal in the second 45. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Hendrik Mikitarian. Given away by Inter. Wendell. Now with Uribe. And he has options available. Possession seeded by Porto.
A very timely interception. Mickey Tarian. It's with Chalanolu. Still passing it around with authority. Terrific block. Uribe. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. He continues his run, and an attempt best forgotten, I think. And it's uh, doing well to regain possession. Matteo Damian. Martinez. And the ball is loose. Well, nothing untoward happened. Ottavia. Now with Toremi. Good technique displayed. And unable to keep possession. Jekko. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack. Well, it fizzled out. Evan Nilsson. A quarter of an hour remaining here. For Inter, ball lost. And good use of advantage. The referee allowing play to continue. They could nudge in front. And calling upon the goalkeeper to keep things even. Well, he's got to be pleased with that. He might just have got his team a draw here. Kick played in. Able to get a body in the way. And he takes on the shot. Player in the way again. Hendrik Mkhitaryan. And giving it away. Well, the fans are making so much noise here. They believe the winner's coming, but it needs a moment of inspiration for one of those players out on the pitch. What a finale we've got. Now, oh, not great defending. Good work from Porto to win it back. Pepe. Now, well, the outcome is a free kick here. So, deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. He has time to play it over. And that is the whistle for the end of the 90. Nothing at all to separate these two.